to everyone who's seeing this on Patreon, I know all these decorations look weird because it's still most definitely September, but by the time this goes up on YouTube, it's going to be October and it's my birthday month. So I want to get as much Octoberness on the channel as we can. So you got to start early just a little bit. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with High Q episode 19. Last episode, we were able to beat the Iron Wall. We were able to take down the wall and and come out on top. And the last two episodes were oh my lord, fantastic. But then they ended it with like, don't forget, it's a tournament. We still got mad more shit to go. And I was like, thank you, because I forgot. So we ended it off with seeing Oikawa popping they're dominating the people they're going against alba josai is just so strong we're gonna be going up against them because our bracket is very hard of course i'm very excited remember guys if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching and have seen in the past consider checking out that patreon down below links are in the description if you still want to support but patreon's not really your thing just please leave a like and a nice comment means more than you know make sure to follow me on twitch and on twitter for the games and the updates i appreciate y'all let's hop into this um haiku episode 19 called conductors oh that's oikawa serving his ball huh because his serve is just so unbelievably nasty what do you do against that rule the court he is the king he's the king of the kings you know that is true. We barely played against him last time. Still completely unknown. Only Kageyama knows him. I love the way they animate him doing that. As a setter, let's see what he's doing. I can see why this episode is called Conductors. It's gonna be a di it's gonna be played different. Yep, that is a valid point. I've never thought about that at all. Holy fuck, that is a good comparison. Oh boy, am I hyped. 25 to 12. That is a stompage, if you ask me. Alright, so day one. Two matches, getting rested up for day two. I love tournaments that are extended. You know, we could talk about things we did right, things about things we did wrong, you know. TV crew. <laughs> 25 to 10? Oh my god. 25 to 6? <laughs> I guess so. Will a team appear that as it pans throughout our entire team? Come on, guys. Come on. You know the team personally has a vendetta. It was a glimpse. They gotta be the powerhouse. They gotta up their popularity. Come on. These guys gotta be the next big stars. Look, look how motivated they are. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. yeah yeah if you were if you were in the stands looking at Date Koga, you'd be like holy fuck i'm not going against them they're disgusting but you guys didn't see your own match against them from the stands you guys did that you fought against these guys who you think are crazy strong so we could do this we could do one we could do another oh jen mori came over from god of high school <laughs> vod review hell yeah say less These guys respect each other so much. They're like, you're putting in the work, I got you. Next round's on me. You put in the work, next round's on me. So this is the other guy with Oikawa who's been with him since grade school, right? Oh, he's going to be doing some studying too. He's taking it serious. He doesn't think it's like too easy. That's... That makes sense as to why he was the guy who went and got him last time and he was messing around because they've been friends for so long. You have that special banter with him, you know? Makes sense. Popped out with a fucking pack of cigs watching this VOD. What could be better, you know? Just kidding. Don't smoke cigs. Even though they look so cool in anime.
I mean, I know I said he's taking this seriously, but he was like a fucking robot just absorbing information right there. Oh, it even shows us Oikawa with like a grayed out background. <laughs> that was perfect. I like that. <laughs> go, 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 say Joe. They're over here taking days off to watch their boys play volleyball. You got to respect this neighborhood association. I want fights. I want one person to do that for like Kageyama or Hinata, you know? Oh, I forgot. He was teaching Yamaguchi. I completely forgot about that. Hey, man, you got to progress somewhere. Shout out Yamagachi, Yamaguchi putting in that extra work. That's hilarious. I gotta write down his name was Iwaizumi. Why is it something like that? Okawa's homie? The best setter award. That's gotta feel good. Oh, you could definitely tell he's younger there. Certain victory, uh, Kitagawa Junior High. Yep, that's back in the day. You can even see Kendaichi right there. This is the team that we played against Hinata in the first match. The first time going against him in official match. That's fire. He's somewhat nervous, but he has to have been wanting this for so long. Ever since he saw him get that award, he's been wanting this. Typical Hinata. Yeah, don't be conceited, but be confident. I love his attitude. He's so lax and calm, but he's so sneaky. Like, he knows exactly what he's doing, and he's playing that persona to a T, you know? Because of the way he's saying it, it almost sounds... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's so good at playing this persona. Hey, man. It sounds good. We're a well-oiled machine, for sure. It's gonna end the episode here, isn't it? Fuck, it's gonna end... I'm so glad I got one more. Oh, my lord, am I glad I got one more. I love this music. It sounds so fucking intense. Oh, man, we're actually getting some of the game. It's actually starting. Holy shit. Okay. I was expecting a lot of things. That was not even close to one of them. I've never heard of a setter dump. I didn't know setters could do that. Yeah. Don't stand there so out of it. No, it's going to be something. He said, no, whack. Like, I know Sugawara said it earlier, but his transitions, that's what is literally so impeccable. Them shits is clean. Like, come on. All right, we're on the offense. Oh, I don't like that eye. I don't like that eye. Or so they think. Oh, and they're going for the back attack again with Asahi. Double faking out. What's going on? Come on, go for the back attack. Oh, he did his own dump. He pulled the Kenma and Oikawa. I guess I have seen that before because Kenma has definitely done that. So never mind. I've definitely seen that before. But Kageyama is not dealing with your shit. Look at him. That was like a personal thing for him. Like, bitch, what's up? Let's go. What's up? <laughs> All I can say, man, is I'm way too happy that I have another episode I can watch. Because holy shit. I knew it was going to be some sort of personal vendetta. Uh, 
from Kageyama, obviously. It's the same thing like Date Kogyo was for Asahi. This one's for Kageyama. He has he has very extenuating circumstances as to why this is very personal to him. But the way he actually was able to clap immediately back at Oikawa and get him heated, because like I said, Oikawa, he he's obviously not an idiot. He's very, very, very smart. People, in my opinion, who are socially like there's different you know they always say there's many different types of smarts there's book smarts there's street smarts in my opinion social smarts is definitely its own category and if you're the master of that it's you know it's a completely separate thing on its own it's like a it's like mentalists stuff like that like in my opinion mentalists who are able to pick up on the subtleties of your body movement facial expressions body language stuff like that who can tell stuff about you not they don't even know stuff about you they're just able to pick up on the things you're giving them like reading you like a book i think social deduction is its own category in and of itself i think oikawa is a master of that like deep down he could be thinking in in his head a number of he could be very emotional very serious very loud he could be but on the outside what he portrays is in my opinion a completely different story you know like if I I can't even think of another character off the top of my head that, that's that's similar to him in that sense. But he he knows the game, he's playing it. You know, it's very rare because he's so skilled physically to get the one up on him mentally, because he's very skilled there as well. But because uh Kageyama was able to physically get the better of him right there, that because no one's ever able to get the better of him physically he's always mentally on top too but because he got over on him physically right there it kind of fucked him just a little bit he's like i'll be doing it again pay attention you little brat like it's it's very rare to see people like that like another one i can think of off tops even though we get to see inside his head so we know it's he's like we know the inner true him it's like poof from hunter hunter like on the outside when poof runs into the king runs into anyone he's very calm cool collected strategic thinking how he can manipulate you thinking what he can do to get you to do what he wants but on the inside he could be crying screaming tears of joy like he is a fucking emotional motherfucker but i just i just i don't know because it's so crazy to think like in the way the coach said he's like that's the one line he always says before a game he's like i believe in you but he said it so cold and dead as if it's like is it a joke or is it a threat like oh, we don't really know so we're just gonna we're gonna go for it you know but there is no real underlying meaning behind it so we can they, they can just believe in him fully you know that's the way it goes i'm just saying this is very interesting oika was easily one of my most interesting unique character so far definitely 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 i am excited to see shira torizawa because holy shit did they dominate their games can't be having that with us i love the setter dump that is a fire new thing i'm picking up all these tactics and at the by the end of this show like by the end of season four i'm gonna be a volleyball player myself guys you're gonna catch me out in the fucking on the gym hitting spikes doing setter all this kind of shit what what position would i be I'm not insanely tall, so I doubt I'd be a middle blocker. I'm not good with hand eye. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm, I could probably couldn't be a setter. I definitely am not quick enough or fat, reliable enough to be a liver. I don't even know. I'd be a fucking. I'd be Takata. I'd be. I'd be cool to be your guys' sensei coming up with the strats. I'm down. <laughs> Cause I'm just trying. To, I suck. <laughs> uh, this anime is fantastic. I'm enjoying it very much. I hope hope you guys are as well. If you guys are, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Of course, I appreciate you that for squads. I'll catch you on this next one. See you guys.